All right, first things first, three run clear buff, init agents. Um, this command will get you set up to create your own agents. It gives you basically a readme, some, some types, some examples. Um, so it's really easy to get started. Um, let's check those out. So we have uh, uh, my custom agent. Um, and basically, this is just an example that you can modify. Uh, pretty simple. It just has like ID, a name, a model, and some instructions. Um, but let's jump right into uh, how to build a coding, a, like a code review agent. Um, this one is the simple example. So it's only like 30 lines. Um, and essentially, it's just Sonnet using some tools um, and given some instructions to follow. Uh, and it does use this one special uh, agent that we already have as a file explorer, which uh, is really helpful. But um, yeah, you can see how simple this is. We just uh, sort of just brain dump these instructions. Let's just run it. Uh, code buff agent uh, code reviewer simple, I think is the ID. And then review my changes. Okay, so we'll let that run. Um, but uh, you'll see that it starts off doing uh, like git diff, uh, which is just what we told it to do. And uh, it's reading some files. So um, yeah, the one really interesting thing about this agent is that it is spawning this other agent, uh, which I think we can see now. Um, it spawned or the door of the file explorer, which in turn spawns uh, like four file pickers here. Uh, and each of those sort of go through the code base and give back some information based on the prompt it was given. Uh, then the reviewers just uh, reading some more files and then finally giving us uh, a code review based on our, our changes. So, um, looking pretty good. It's giving us some suggested fixes. Nice. Um, what we're going to do is compare this simple agent with uh, one that goes much more in depth, something I'm really excited about. Cool. So there's that basic output. Um, pretty cool. Um, let's, let's try to build something more ambitious. All right. So uh, let me just show you this other file, deep code reviewer. Um, it's also Sonnet, but uh, you'll notice that it has a, uh, another agent that it's on. It's called Deep Thinker. Uh, and basically, we're going to use that to um, like think a lot about <laughs> how, to, how to improve your code review. One of, the, one of the things we do here is we tell it to spawn five Deep Thinker agents to review the changes from different perspectives. So Sonnet will come up with um, yeah, different perspectives, that are different prompts that it sends to each of those. Um, and those five will run in parallel. And then finally, it's going to synthesize the insights. Um, and otherwise, the, the file is pretty simple as well. It has a few tools. Um, and then there's one really unique thing here at the bottom. And I, I, really, I really think this is cool. Um, basically, with handle steps, you can sort of describe all of the steps that the agent should take. So uh, in fact, it, it starts by basically running this tool the run terminal command to do a gif diff uh, with just the names of the files. Then when it gets a git status, then it runs diff head. So we can sort of force it to run all these and then hand it over to um, the LM to generate. So we kind of uh, like set it up for success here because we get it to read all the files that um, are relevant. And uh, yeah, basically, there's a few reasons why we want this. It's faster uh, than just like letting the LM do it. This part, it's cheaper. Um, it's more reliable because we know for sure that it's going to run all of these commands, um, and it's more powerful. Like you, you could uh, you could do any sort of logic here um, before handing it over. So that's um, that's partly what makes this more advanced. But uh, I think the really cool thing here is this deep thinker agent. So let's check out how that works. Deep thinker. All right, so it's GBD5 with high thinking, makes sense. Um, but the really interesting thing here is that it's actually composed of three different 
thinkers. Um, and these are all with different models. And um, essentially, we have another handle steps where it has one tool call here to spawn all three of these thinkers with the same prompt. Um, and finally, it lets the main agent generate a synthesis, uh, like one final summary response. Um, and so this is like a pretty simple agent. We're kind of doing three calls to thinkers and then one more call to synthesize the uh, output. Um, it's very generic. Um, basically, you can use this to like solve so many problems. Like we can use it in our code reviewer, but we can also use it in like a planning agent, for example. Um, anywhere where you need thinking, um, it's super composable, reusable. And the fact that it's using different models, I think, is actually um, like underhyped. Sometimes they talk about alloy models where or agents which like sort of trade between models as it's doing each step. Uh, this is sort of the composition of a few models, and I think that they each has its own perspective. They're like just trained a bit differently, so they have different ideas, and it's um, super valuable to integrate those together. Um, and so essentially. Uh, we're taking this deep thinker, which is already a composition of uh, a bunch of thinking agents, and we are itself running that one five more times. So we're basically getting this like tree of, of agents, and that's all at our command, um, and it's super easy to do. And I claim that this is kind of more compute than people typically spend on code reviewing agents, and that this gives it a claim to being maybe the best code reviewer. So super excited about that. Let's try it out, right? Uh, we can go ahead and invoke it, uh, similar to before. Uh, I think it's deep code reviewer. Uh, nice. And then you, and we can watch, see how it, how it works. Um, uh, all right. Awesome. Look at this. Uh, it spawned five deep thinker agents with different prompts each. Uh, and yeah, they're all running. So uh, we'll have to see uh, what they come back with. Very exciting. Uh, while they're running, why don't I show you how we can um, publish uh, this agent? So we built it. We were able to run it and test it locally. You can iterate to change the definition, change the prompts. Uh, when you're happy, then you can go in and do code left, uh, publish, and then we have deep code reviewer. Um, and then basically, you just want to also include all of the dependent um, agents as well, file explorer and deep thinker. All right. And it looks like we also need the dependencies for the deep thinker, which is just three more of these. Um, and finally, the uh, Gemini thinker. Right. Publishing. All right. Yeah, we published them. All right. So um, what's interesting is that this uh, full ID is uh, basically contains all the information in order for anyone in the world to run it uh, because it is published in our database. Then that means that you can run this command code buff dash dash agent deep code reviewer to invoke it and say, please run my, ch please review my changes, um, which is super cool. Um, I won't actually let this one run. And then let's compare the simple code reviewer on this like large change um, to what we uh, ran originally of the deep code reviewer on the same uh, large bit of changes. So let's see, review my code. Um, so we're going to just run the simple one and see how it compares. So look at this output from the simple reviewer. It basically says there's no critical issues. Everything's doing great. Just some need to watch the database in production. Some like minor uh, like areas for improvement. And there's like types and stuff. OK, it's like eh, that's not, not really that helpful. Um, and then we compare that to the like five deep thinking spawned agents um, and then this integration uh, of all of their feedback and uh, something that's really interesting is like okay it actually is following real critical issues here uh, 
and I just like this bug is something that um, the engineer that wrote this had, did not anticipate at all. Um, this is like a really subtle, um, and it's it's like amazing that it can just like figure this stuff out. Um, it has all these um, all these issues that it came up with, whereas the the simple reviewer had like almost nothing. Um, so uh, that is a pretty awesome demonstration of just the like you know the importance of uh, chain together multiple models and um, using more compute to get better results. Uh, and it's all possible with the CodeBuff framework, like really simple to create those and publish them. Um, and I'm really excited to see uh, how you guys uh, can um, first use this agent in your own work, just like run, run this uh, exact code review agent, um, or uh, build your own, or build uh, more than just a code review agent, any kind of agent um, that either helps you with coding or um, just like does random stuff that's fun. Um, or helps you build a product. So um, yeah, this has been day two of Koba Launch Week. Um, yeah, pretty excited to, to see how you guys dig into uh, our agent framework and see what you build with it. So signing off. Yeah, thanks so much.